okay so in our lecture three yes so we're talking about physical therapy so in our previous two lectures we talked about the introduction to physical therapy we also talked about the basic principle of assessment now we're going to talk about in a short time we're going to talk about the treatment basic treatment in terms of physical therapy so our outline is the timelines of the definition for the basic treatment principles of assessment the timelines of assessment that is the timelines given to treat a particular condition the importance the education the proper positioning the application of the rice principle the electrotherapy massage mobilization techniques exercise prescription and then lifestyle modification okay so first of all just a recap of the, the term physiotherapy is a branch of medical profession that is a branch of the medical profession it includes a multidisciplinary team that is various team members which come together to be able to give a very good treatment to a patient okay so Okay, so let's break this thing down. So, physiotherapy is a branch of the multidisciplinary team members who seek to use various protocols and techniques to improve function, treatment of an impairment, and return an individual to activity performance. So, noting the impairment of the patient, and then Consequently, given the necessary protocols to be able to return the person to activity as best as possible. So, in, in terms of treatment, we have systemic approach and we have the biopsychosocial model approach that is taking into consideration not the condition itself, but generally the general well being of the patient and involve the patient in the condition and not just the condition itself. Okay. So, the basic treatment protocols involved getting a higher satisfaction with that is as the treatment is going on there should be a form of a better satisfaction in terms of the treatment and also it should be it's not wasting time it shouldn't waste time it should be very smart as we talked about in the assessment in the lecture too also it's, it's supposed to be able to achieve an improved health care okay so these are some of the importance of the treatments or what the treatment is supposed to be able to achieve okay so we have very important timelines of treatment there are very three important lines of treatment one we have the acute stage so acute stage of treatment is where the treatment is given as early as possible so just after the injury or some few hours after the injury to three weeks so from the onset of the injury to three weeks and a condition is termed acute between three weeks and three months a condition is termed subacute so after three months onward to months six months to years the condition is termed chronic we have one aspect of care that we call palliative care that is when the patient is not very likely to return to living Yes, we have a condition called cancer so this also involves palliative care okay so we have also to learn the importance of treatment one is to restore one's former range of motion or range of movement also to ensure the usability of certain body parts it's also important to promote increased circulation across the body also to relieve certain neurological and mental condition so we treat to do that also to prevent complications and to ensure adequate respiration that is breathing also to increase muscle strength or power so we have basically five proper positioning types so if a patient had a condition we have the patient to be in a particular position so we can assess it so one is supine that is lying on your back and then prone that is prone position is where you're going to lie on your stomach or your belly and then the third one is sideline that is lying on your shoulder 
either of the shoulders at a particular time and then high sitting that is you sit in bed with boot legs straight on in the bed and then we have long sitting that is where you sit at the edge of the bed with your legs on the ground or hanging so we talk about education before assessment it's important that the patient is educated on the condition so that whatever happens the patient understands and is able to cooperate education is important that is giving the patient the very important knowledge of the role of the physiotherapist and then the condition itself then assuring and reassuring the patient of the condition being improved or getting better and then also to educate the patients of the maximum um, 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 aim that is our final aim that is to ensure the patient's independence and then functionality also we have the healthcare model that is the biosecurity model we have the health condition we have the body functions and activities and we have the participation you have the environmental and personal factors okay so when we talk about the application <laughs> of the um rice principle we talk about r-i-c-e that's the rice principle rest eyes compress and elevate rest means when the patient has the injury at the first instant you don't do anything just rest the body parts so that we prevent other further complications you also ice the particular body parts if the patient hasn't had a cut an open wound you apply ice if there's an open wound no ice then compressed or you can bandage the particular part of the body so that we reduce swelling and then ensure that there is no um, 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 bleeding too much bleeding and also elevation so we put the leg or the particular part of the body at a higher position than gravity okay so aside that um, we're also going to look at Electrotherapy. So electrotherapy involves using machines to be able to treat the condition and get better. So application depends on the duration of the injury or the impairment. So we mentioned in the earlier stage that we have acute, subacute, and chronic. In acute stage, we use eyes. We can use tense machine that is transelectrical nerve stimulation machine. We can use ultrasound therapy. And then the exercises could include isometric exercise that is moving the body parts without raising it up or moving it sideways and then gentle active range of motion that is moving the body parts a little bit up and down up and down reduce movement and also we can do some massage to reduce the pain or reduce stiffness and then in terms of sub acute also we have using heat so if it's after three weeks we can use heat that is using hot pack and use a um, hot water bottle you can also use low level laser therapy you can use also the tens machine that is translation nerve stimulation this helps to reduce pain and reduce swelling and then some exercises that can be done could be active range of motion that is moving the body part to improve strength and function you also can do stretching exercises if it's sub acute between three weeks and three months and then if it's chronic, we're going to use that tense or con continuous ultrasound. And then the exercise will be aiming at strengthening and stabilization ex exercises. That is, if the patient cannot walk well or cannot sit well, we're going to go through various exercises that we've done. And then we can also do massage. That's manual massage. Or we can do also manual therapy. Okay. So massage we have so many types of massage we have the effleurage we have the stroking we have the cupping we have the picking we have the hacking we have the kneading kneading you have the thumb kneading that is kneading you can knead like this depending on the body part you have the palmer kneading and we have the elbow kneading okay so the picture in the slide code in the slide given can be given as um thumb kneading that is needing the the back of the leg okay so some equipment that will be seen in physiotherapy units for treatment of the condition include wall bar we can have a treadmill we have the stairs we have the hand ergometer we have the pulley we have the tilt bed we have the quadriceps bench we have the stationary cycle we have the dumbbells okay so we have the medicine board the gym board to the 
and then the exercise prescription that is the exercise that is given to patients we have three main different types we have the low impact activity exercises we have the moderate impact activity exercises we have the high impact exercises the low impact could be just raising of the hands up and down just moving slowly walking about moderate impacts could be in terms of aerobic exercises could be just walking a little bit briskly and a high impact could be jogging or probably doing a treadmill exercise okay so as we are coming to the end of the treatment we're looking at the lifestyle modifications so what are some of life modification that uh, is expected by the physiotherapist of the patient okay we are going to look at the posture awareness that is how the patient should be able to position himself in order to reduce the severity of the injury and use of assistive devices that is getting other devices that could help to get the patient managing the condition so if the patient has broken the leg you can get some a pair of crutches or um, a wheelchair to be able to ensure got um, uh, uh, injured to the that had a fracture getting a whole chair or getting a pair of crutches to be able to ensure that the patient can reduce moving moving too much and then allowing the bone to heal by itself mm -hmm. so we have mm -hmm. behavioral um, changes that is and then also we have home modifications that is if the person has got um, probably um a shoulder condition or shoulder pain or frozen shoulder we can bring things down or we can ensure that things are raised at a high level so that the patient can raise their hands and get the shoulder stiffness reduced also we also have to ensure that there's regular exercise patterns that is exercises are given frequently that is daily to be able to reduce the pain and improve the patient's strength as best as possible daily also we are to monitor the adherence to prescribed exercises protocols or consult your physiotherapist when you don't understand anything this is a lifestyle modification that um, is expected of the patient by the physiotherapist okay so this is the end of the lecture three of physiotherapy that's the basic treatment protocols in the profession physiotherapy thank you very much for your time and um, the best of luck in the coming papers and I, I believe that the Lord God will see us all through the Lord be with us all have a blessed time may the Lord be with us all thank you very much